Hello, this is Aaron Meyer with Greenlands Blue Waters. Happy to be with you today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Greenlands Blue Waters, who we are, what we're doing, and how you can be involved. We're going on 17, formed in 2004 with representatives from land grant universities and a number of organizations. Our focus is systems level positioning to increase broad support, help partners work better together, and increase the embrace of perenniality and agriculture, what we call continuous living cover. Our home base is in Minnesota, but we work with and have a reach across the upper Mississippi River Basin, as well as where the basin, where the river dumps into the Gulf in Louisiana. We have longtime partners there. Network partners, again, representing academy, research, educators, outreach, ag industry, small businesses, nonprofits, agencies, and the like. That's me, Aaron Meyer. Couldn't figure out how to get my talking head in the corner, but you get a still picture. Aaron Reeser is our associate director. Jane Jewett, longtime staff of Minnesota Institute for Sustainable Agriculture. She coordinates our Midwest Perennial Forage Working Group and gives us a lot of organizational history we couldn't do without. Sarah Svoboda is our communications specialist. Uh, if you're seeing some good things coming out in our newsletter, if you're not on our newsletter, get on our website. You get it only a couple times a month at most. Uh, we really try to focus in on good information and opportunities uh, and resources, and Sarah's behind a lot of that work as well as our uh, Facebook and Twitter feeds. We have steering committee members, won't go into that a lot, have had them for a long time. They're from across the region doing lots of good things in a number of different organizations. All right, when we think about continuous living cover, we are thinking about roots in the ground year round to do all the things environmentally, ecologically, we know it needs to do, as well as providing whole farm systems for farmers and building new markets for all those good things that we do socioeconomically. We organize our work in these, these five strategies, agroforestry, the perennials, forage, grains, biomass, and the rotations, cover crops, cash cover crops, winter annuals. We think about this landscape scale change, working with network partners that do, again, a variety of things. All of it is to increase the impact and the work and the reach of our partners, as well as changing that narrative around what's possible through agriculture. Key roles, we think, again, this is how we kind of coordinate our, uh, like, who do, what do we do? We connect, we collaborate, we convene, we communicate. We're trying to do more of that and build the impact in, uh, in a number of ways, and I'll talk about some of that work next. Here's an example of collaborating and supporting. We support that Midwest uh, Perennial Forage Working Group. A lot of talk there about these, uh, the value of these grazing exchanges that ballooned to this idea of a Midwest grazing exchange. Megan Philbert from that group took off with uh, Practical Farmers of Iowa. Uh, Pete Huff stepped up with Pasture Project. They brought it home. New site, take a look at it, MidwestGrazingExchange.com. Some of the other things we're doing is how do we make sure that the technical assistance providers understand what we know about agriculture and about continuous living cover and that they when the farmers go to their agency nonprofit, they get the kind of training we know that they need. So we're helping to create a roadmap. We're going to be bringing some leaders together. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, how do we address these needs? How do we outline some recommended solutions? What, what needs to happen to make that a critical information piece for our farmers? We also have a loose cohort right now. We're trying to build it some more. So these are people that work or are they participate in the state technical committees and their NRCS state technical committees. We're bringing people together across state lines. How do we learn from each other? What, how do we learn about what's happening in each state? How do we focus and fu the funding priorities of this work on continuous living cover? We're working on some best opportunity statements that'll be coming out here at the event, Tuesday, 345. I'm hosting a session on the NRCS work and support for agroforestry and the training that they're doing in Missouri. Join us if you can. Resiliency writings, we're doing a lot uh, uh, with some journalistic pieces. We got, we're gonna have a piece come out. Again, we're gonna pull some leaders together. Uh, we want usable, consumable, journalistic piece on the long-term resiliency and the risk mitigation of CLC agriculture for our partners. We're also doing some CLC ag farmer profiles. Some of you are seeing this series, take a look. It's amazing. We, we took some travel funding, we put it out there uh, and said, we're gonna pay some of these grad students for these statements. Grad students from across the region came forward. These statements are incredible. All talk about the fact that we cannot change our landscape if we don't get real about changing the social system uh, in terms of racial equity and economic access. Also, we are trying to make the case for CLC uh, through an impact investing uh, effort looking at sustainable return on investment. We got about 40 partners participating. Our hope is the outcomes are gonna be available to partners for their own funding and outreach. We are excited about this. One more thing, we're working on the SAS cap, uh, doing lots of stuff. I'm gonna run out of time. I wanna just say, we're here to help you do your work better. Thank you so much. Have a great time at the Pernell Farm Gathering.